A lot of people will stick with you through the good. It's the people that stick with you through the bad who are the ones you want by your side. It's that simple. And that's what a brotherhood is, and that's what Cab and I have. I realized that I wanted to start helping other people after I lost my dad. I got a call from my mom, hysterical, and before I knew it, you know, didn't even get a chance to say goodbye, and he was gone. I initially imploded and went on to saying, this isn't gonna be me, it's never gonna be me, so I trained at the gym by my apartment and by the gym at work. I was in the weight room and training for a half marathon, and. It was just about me, 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 me. Like I wasn't gonna let that be me, I was angry. And I used that to fuel myself. But in the middle of that first half marathon where I could have been focused on this PR pace that I was running, I was thinking about my dad and I was thinking how I couldn't help him by doing what I was doing for myself. And in that moment, I started crying. I started, you know, thinking about him and you know, just him not being there anymore. And I realized I could help him by helping other people and showing other people that if I can do it, they can do it. If I can try and fix what I failed on, right, because I used to be unhealthy too, they can do it as well. But when I come across somebody who wants to be better and I can help them with that, that's what I like to do. So that's where Hidden Summit came from. It's those people that they're like, man, I, I have that itch to do it, something better in life but I don't know how to do it and I'm like all right I can help you it doesn't matter what it is I could at least mentally prepare you to get better at that thing because that's all life is, is one big challenge so if you know how to deal with the challenge you know how to deal with life and that's it Derek being as highly trained as he is he is one of the most humble down-to-earth people there is and that that shows you know what I mean if you can't accept someone holding you accountable, if you can't hold that person accountable, if you can't get in each other's face or put that finger in each other's chest and say, hey, what are you doing? Open your eyes. That's not a true brotherhood. That's a guy that's on the street with you who's your acquaintance, who's your friend that you let run wild. <laughs> Gavin and Derek, you helped mold me as a person. Whether you knew it or not, you guys were teaching me valuable lessons that would help shape me into the person I am today. No matter how angry we make each other, if you need me or I need you, we'll always have someone to turn to, someone we can always share with. A lot of men don't like to share their emotions or problems. They think keeping them buried deep down is what a true man does. But with the three of us, it's different. If I need advice, I turn to you. If I need a vent, I turn to you. If I need a fight, I bet your ass I'm turning my big brothers. Kevin, Derek, it's an honor to call you my brothers.